Roger, roger. Hey everybody, it's Moonbow here, and welcome back to more Endless Scrap Mechanic. Today we're back with the first person rig, and I have added two very iconic weapons to our arsenal. So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at two different lightsabers. We've got the single laser one, and then we also have the very iconic double lasered lightsaber. I'm not too sure exactly what you would call it. And as you can see behind me, we've got some really awesome battle droids that are made entirely out of destructible parts. So that's what we're going to be destroying today with these lightsabers. Now, I'm really excited to check this out, guys, so let's get started. Alright, so before we hop into the first person rig, I wanted to quickly go over these lightsabers and show you guys what is going on here. Now, in the new Legend mod, there is a really cool modded part that is called a laser. So as you can see right here, we can pop one down anywhere, and this is our laser that we're using for the lightsaber. Now, there's a couple things I wanted to mention with regards to this modded part. And the first one is, I'm going to warn everybody, these lasers are really good at potentially destroying your computer. I have had some crazy problems and if you bring up console you get a lot of errors when you're using them as well and your world slowly slowly gets destroyed now the original design on these lasers that i had for the lightsaber was i was going to actually do something like this now if you imagine some invisible blocks or something like that where i uh, had something hidden like this and then a block over top of the laser. What I originally wanted to do was shoot the laser at the block so that way it would be uh, kind of reduced in length because right now guys if we turn a laser on here we go we got this lightsaber right here we're gonna turn this one on and you're gonna see there we go look at that the laser shoots um, pretty much all the way up to the sky. Uh, so what I wanted to do was block off a portion of that laser with invisible blocks so that way we would actually have a limited length on the lightsaber and it would really give that sword effect. But unfortunately, I couldn't do that because if we put a block over top of it here, just like that, and then if we hit the switch, you're going to see, there you go, look, it goes right through the block. It doesn't even matter. Now, I can already feel my computer slowly dragging along. So basically, that's what I did, though. They're very simple in design. It's just that laser with a switch and then a little bit of a handle and then obviously we have like the Darth Maul style double-sided lightsaber here with the same thing on either end. And of course guys what we are going to be destroying though is these battle droids right here. I had a lot of fun making them actually and so using the destructible parts mod uh, all of those pieces are basically just vanilla pieces made to be destroyed. So in a way it is almost like these are made out of vanilla. So it was a little bit of a test for me to try and get some vanilla stuff on the go. I think the head the head looks kind of funny, it probably could be a little bit better. Now of course guys, looking at this stuff can only be so exciting, so of course we do have the lightsaber mounted to our first person rig, and check this out guys, we're gonna hop right inside, and there we go, look at this. We are now a Jedi with our very own lightsaber. So a couple functions though, before we start tearing apart some battle droids, uh, we can turn the lightsaber from side to side just like this. Uh, and that is because I wanted to create a swinging motion. If we press 8, it's going to point the lightsaber down like so, kind of like in an attacking position. So if you use 6 and 7, you can see now, you can imagine us swinging the lightsaber around. Now the problem with this though is this laser shoots out spuds really, really fast. And so when you're moving around like this really, really quickly, uh, the spuds don't actually hit your target anymore because you're moving too fast. So the best thing to do really is to point it down like so and then swing around using your actual camera. And like I mentioned guys, this thing is a world destroyer, so I'm gonna try and limit the amount of actual laser time we have, so in between swings and stuff like that, I'm gonna be turning the laser off, just so that way I can maybe save my computer a little bit. But here we go guys, we've got our little battle droid right here, uh, and I'm gonna let you know this is welded to the ground, because like I mentioned, the laser shoots out spuds, so when you point it at something, it actually does get pushed away by those spuds. So here we go though. Uh, we're gonna try and maybe, what do we do? You know what, I wanna start off really crazy here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk right up to this battle droid, and I'm gonna turn the lightsaber on right here in his little robot chest. So here we go guys, in three, 
two, one, turn it on. Oh, jeez. Wow. All right, so we just burned a hole right through that robot, and we actually destroyed its neck in the process. All right, so let's just finish the job here. We're going to try and carve this little battle droid up. Here we go. Oh, yeah, that's so satisfying, guys. Look at this. This thing cuts right through it like butter. It is just like a lightsaber. So look at this, guys. This battle droid has been reduced to little parts and pieces. Now, I know one thing that's more fun than destroying a single battle droid, and that is taking on an entire army. All right, there's a group of battle droids that have been sent in. They see their fallen robot friend on the ground, literally in parts and pieces, guys, and they don't even know what's coming to them because we've got a lightsaber. So here we go. We're gonna make our way in here. Now, I'm gonna try and limit the laser time, remember, guys? Uh, so that way we don't destroy this world, and I'm actually probably gonna end up destroying multiple robots at once. So maybe if I try and, like, angle this, I just realized I don't want to destroy all of them at once. Well, maybe I do, but the laser uh, shouldn't be as far as it is. But here we go, guys, in three, two, one. Turn it on. Oh, there we go. Slice this guy right there like that. Oh, so satisfying. All right, there is one battle droid down. Okay, this is going to be a two-for-one special right here, guys. We got the battle droid in the back, and we also got this one in the front. So here we go. Destroy two at once, maybe. Okay, maybe not. Go this way as well. Oh, my God. This is so satisfying. There we go. That's two down. All right, so how many battle droids are left here? We got one, two, three, four, five. Okay, you know what? So here we go. I'm going to go around to this guy right here on this side. We're going to destroy this battle droid right here. Okay, we'll kind of climb over that poor robot's head there. Uh, we're going to destroy this one right here. Uh, you know what? Maybe we're going to sneak up on the back of him just like so. And then we're going to use Darth Maul's double-sided lightsaber to destroy the rest of them. So here we go. We're going to do one quick swoop right through, pass it by again. Okay, there you go. Now, this is actually a good way to show you guys that if you go too fast, the laser won't cut through, and that is because it is spuds. But here we go. Chop him right down, slice him up. Look at this, guys, just like butter. So that is the single-sided lightsaber. It's pretty cool. It's definitely a lot of fun, guys, but I think doubling the lightsaber is doubling the fun. All right, so here we are loaded up in the first-person rig with the double-sided lightsaber. Now, I'm going to quickly show you guys what you can do with this one. So this one, you have to put horizontal just like so, and this is the best part, actually. Look at this, guys. You can spin it around 360 in either direction, and the reason for that, of course, is because you want to be able to do some really cool double-sided combat, you know, and you can just imagine swinging this thing around at something. But now, I can hear my computer slowly dying, so we're going to try and make some quick work of these final four battle droids right here. So I'm just going to turn on the lightsaber. Actually, you know what? I like having the uh, the buttons facing me just like so. Okay, there we go. So here we go, guys, in three, two, one. Turn them both on. All right, there we go. And now it is time to get in there and start swinging this bad boy around. Oh, yeah, look at this, guys. Oh, the double lightsaber. These droids don't even know what's coming. There we go. Oh my god. Okay, one more in the back there. Okay, let's turn these off. Hold on. Try and save my computer for maybe a couple more minutes here. Okay, there is one final droid. Now, can we sneak in through this little section here? Look at this, guys. The first person rig is so nimble, we can move around in between those legs there. All right, here we go, Mr. Battle Droid. Do you have any final words? That's what I thought. All right, here we go. Lightsaber on and start spinning start attacking. Oh God, okay guys. I can feel my computer slowly dying. Let's try and just finally finish. Okay. Nope. It's not gonna happen. I Okay, hold on. All right guys. Uh, my computer is definitely starting to die now and like I said You don't want to use these lasers for too long or else they will start to destroy your computer now This definitely looks like a scene of a whole bunch of battle droids trying to take on a skilled Jedi with a lightsaber now clearly 
that is not a very good idea. But I gotta say guys, this looks absolutely awesome. Those lightsabers are tons of fun. There's gonna be links down in the description if you do want to check them out on the Steam Workshop. And I'm also gonna upload the battle droid that is destructible so you guys can have some fun destroying something as well. Now guys, if you did enjoy this video or the builds, then let me know by hitting that like button. And if you want to tune in for some more endless scrap mechanic, then consider subscribing to the channel and maybe even turning on some notifications so you can get the latest and the craziest coming from me in Scrap Mechanic. So guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll be seeing you in the next one. So bye for now.